An infection is a disease caused by microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses, fungi or parasites. These microorganisms are also called bugs or germs. Healthcare associated infections HAIs, are infections that people catch when they are receiving care in a healthcare facility, for example in hospital, at a GP surgery, in a nursing home or even at home. Bacteria are the most common cause of HAIs. In this video, we are going to discuss about healthcare associated infections. Let's go to the video. HAIs occur at a cost to the patient and the community because they cause illness to the patient, a longer stay in hospital, a longer recovery times, costs associated with a longer stay in hospital and longer recovery time. All healthcare facilities should have infection control procedures and policies and staff should take every precaution to avoid spreading infection. However, the risk of infection can never be completely eliminated and some people have a higher risk of acquiring an infection than others. Many types of infection can be picked up during healthcare including wound, bloodstream, urinary tract and chest infections. There are things you can do before and during your treatment that will help reduce the chance of picking up an infection. Susceptibility to healthcare associated infection all people admitted to hospital are at some risk of contracting an HAI. If you are very sick or have had surgery, you have an increased risk. Some people are more vulnerable than others, including premature babies, very sick children, elderly people, frail people, people with certain medical conditions such as diabetes, people with low immunity. Risk Factors for Acquiring an HAI There are other risk factors that may increase your risk of acquiring an HAI. These include Increased length of stay A long hospital stay can increase your risk of HAI. For example, if you are admitted to hospital for complex or multiple illnesses. Surgical procedures. The length and type of surgery can increase the risk. Invasive procedures. Some procedures that bypass the body's normal protective layer, the skin, can introduce infection into the body. For example, insertion of urinary catheters, IV cannulas, respiratory equipment, and drain tubes. Non intact skin. Wounds. Incisions, surgical cuts, burns and ulcers are more prone to infection than intact skin. Types of healthcare associated infection The most common types of infection acquired in hospitals are Bloodstream infection, urinary tract infection UTI, wound infection, pneumonia, lung infection. Infections are treated with antibiotics and usually respond well. Occasionally, infections can be serious and life-threatening. Some bacteria are hard to treat because they are resistant to standard antibiotics. Preventing healthcare-associated infections Healthcare workers use various well-established procedures to help prevent infections, including infection control procedures and policies, correct and frequent hand hygiene measures by all staff and patients, keeping the healthcare environment and equipment clean, using antibiotics appropriately to prevent and treat infections. 
Hospitals will also participate in surveillance programs to monitor infection rates and measure the impact of infection prevention practices. Before admission to hospital If you are going to hospital, there are things you can do before admission and in hospital that will help reduce the chance of you getting an infection. Steps to follow before you go to hospital include Stop smoking Smoking can interfere with healing processes. It also damages your airways, which can increase your chances of getting a chest infection. Maintain a healthy weight People who are overweight are more prone to infection. Inform your doctor of all existing or recent illnesses. A cold or the flu can lead to a chest infection. So, let your doctor or the hospital staff know if you are not well. Manage diabetes. If you are a diabetic, make sure that your blood sugar levels are under control. During your hospital stay. Some things that can help reduce the chance of infection while you are in hospital include Make sure that you clean your hands often with soap and running water or use an alcohol-based hand rub, especially after using the toilet and before eating. If you have an IV cannula, let your nurse know if the site around the needle is red, swollen, painful or leaking. Tell your nurse if any dressings are not clean, dry and attached around your wound. Let your nurse know if tubes or catheters feel displaced. Cover your mouth and nose when you cough or sneeze. Ask relatives or friends who have colds or are unwell not to visit. If you have any questions, concerns or complaints about your condition or the care you are receiving, Please speak directly to your treating doctor or nursing staff as this is often the quickest and easiest way to resolve issues. If you got this video helpful, please give a thumbs up to the video. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Subscribe the channel for more important videos like this. Thanks for watching.